Are you talking to Taliban? Fucking Tally. Fuck. Where's fucking comms? Well, we could light these goats on fire and smoke signal our way out of here. Yeah, I could walk down to the village as the borrow phone. You get some interesting tile ideas down there, bro. Afghan dirt, brown goat skin, blonde shit. You'll dig that a hell of a lot more than what is it, fucking honey cream? <laughs> The way I see it, we got three options. One, we let him go, hike up, probably be found in less than an hour. Two, we tie him up, hike out, roll the dice. He'll probably be eaten by fucking wolves or freeze to death. Three, we terminate the compromise. No puedo ir. Shaw's down there. We let them go. We let him go. Mission fails. No, Mikey. I don't like it. I don't fucking like it at all. What are we gonna do? We're gonna kill him? Huh? Okay, we kill him, right? What then? What? Fucking bury him? They get found, then what? Then what? What do you mean, then what? <sighs> and then what? You know, then what? What do you think this shit's gonna be private? Huh? It's gonna be out there for the whole fucking world. CNN. Okay? Seals kill kids. That's the fucking story forever. It's nobody's fucking business what we do up here. We do what we do, what we have to do. This is the fucking Navy and you're the fucking boss, so you make the fucking call, sir. Shaw killed 20 Marines last week. 20. We let him go. 20 more will die next week. 40 more the week after that. Our job is to stop Shaw. And why do these men have the right to dictate how we do our job? Rules of engagement says we cannot touch them. I understand. And I don't care. I care about you. I care about you. I care about you. I care about you. I don't want your mom's in your head. Your decapitated head on Al Jazeera. That is Shaw. I don't see it that way. Where do you think he's running to? 200 friends down there. You got guys in Leavenworth doing 20 for taking home trophy guns. What do you think they're gonna do for fucking two kids and an old fucking man? Fucking look at him, man. They fucking hate us. Look at him. That's not a kid. That's a soldier. That's death. Look at death. We can't do it. Look at that soldier. Them. They are unarmed prisoners. And the second that they run down there, we got 200 hajis on our backs. Tie him up. Tie him up, let's get the fuck out of here. We can't just fucking leave him, let him go. I thought you were standing by waiting for your fucking orders. I am standing by waiting for my fucking orders. What do you think that radio's for? 
They're not calling Domino's Pizza. I know what the fucking radio's for. That radio's fucking That's tally, a cell bro. phone to the Taliban. So you just think it'll just be our little secret? Huh? That's a warrior. Schwack him. We cannot do that. This is a soft compromise. You want to go to Leavenworth? We don't know how many fucking hodges they have down there, man. Don't let him influence Marcus, you. I'm just saying, you can't just say. Look at that child. Let Make up your that fucking is mind. And don't let him influence you. LG, it's your fucking call. I ain't fucking voting. This is not a vote. This is what we're going to do. This op is compromised. So we're going to pack up everything. We're going to cut them loose, and we're going to make this peak. When we make this peak, you're going to get comms up. When we get these comms up, we're going to call for extract, and we're going home. Roger that, sir. Roger that. Roger. complicated uh, and, and morally ambiguous decisions. Uh, and, and so, you know... Except that the audience, in a way, is, is wanting America to do the right thing. I mean, in a way, it, it's also self-defining national sense that, that, you know, we are supposed to do the right things. And you know, yet, yet you know what the right thing is? Well, the right thing, you know, was obviously killing innocent civilians. You don't have any idea. Well. I mean, one, not to be rude or anything like that, but one, one person's what they think the right idea is... And, is completely opposite from what the other one is. That's why we have to solely focus on our leadership, our admirals, who have been around and have been through all of this, and they, they, they make the calls, and it flows all the way down to us, and we follow our orders to the T. I mean, being in the SEAL teams, we're outside-of-the-box thinkers. Um, I mean, we're not idiots. Most SEALs have their degrees, and a lot of them have their masters, and we've been in this game for a very, very long time. So the thing that we ask... When, and not out loud, we just hope and pray that the American public has enough trust and, and faith in us to do and make the right decision. I've seen so many, and I've heard so many Monday morning quarterbacks, they're just, it's the funniest thing to me because uh, I read stuff, not, not too much online, but this, you know, you hear people like, oh, I'd have killed them, just did it right there and there, really? I mean, would you? Have? I mean, you've been there? Absolutely not. You hadn't been there. And then the other people are just like, well, you know, I'm, you know, you turned them loose, and and that was the right thing to do, even though everybody everybody died. So, how do you weigh human life? It's 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 a conundrum that can never be answered. It's 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 war, war and, and there is no right or wrong answer in in combat. And those people who aren't out there carrying the rifle have no business dictating what and how we do it. If you want, if you want to know that. And don't, and don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not up no, here trying exactly to preach or anything like that. I'm just saying that if, if you, if you want to know the details about this and you want to make those command decisions, then grab a rifle and come help us. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, wake up every morning, kiss your wife or your husband, and live your life. And, and enjoy the freedoms that, that the American military provide for you. That's why we're out there. And we don't want to thank you, a pat on the back, or anything like that. We just want you to enjoy your life, and because everybody's made different. I mean, you got guys who are doctors and lawyers and accountants, and you have the war fighters, the guys who know how to fight, and we're good at it, and we love what we do, and we know how to make those decisions. So stay out of our way, and we'll stay out of yours. <laughs>